Why, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to more Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And I actually have not played this game in a few days, so let's see how easily I can resume where I left off. And also, up to this point, I've been playing with a pro controller, but that's actually dead right now, so I have that charging, and I don't feel like waiting for it to charge, so I'm using the uh, Joy-Con grip. And what do I have equipped from last time? And, and what do I have directionally? That? Okay. Read that already. And I watched the end of the last episode to remind myself where I was. And there's a boss door right here. So let's kick off the episode with that. A key of Celeste is required. Okay, never mind. Key of Celeste, where are you? And we are still in the Liver Ex Machina. Minus is map. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff here that we haven't actually explored yet. Let's keep going here for now. Oh, it looks like we can get a different boss, so we still start the episode with a boss fight after all. Another dragon? This one's not as imposing. Arise, myself and my shadow. Um. Arise, myself and my shadow. Ow. That was easy. 5G? We just got 5G for it? Well, I did say it was easy. And, okay. Just reminding myself of the controls. That's backdash. That's changing loadout. Hall of Termination. This is a new place. Where are we right now? Pretty much in the middle of the map on the top. Okay. Well, let's explore as much of it as we can for now. So this room is taking us down. This looks like it, this place looks like it could be kind of big, so let's take a peek going up first. S spine wing. Increase his mind. When do I have equipped right now? Grab reflect your ring. Weapon attack speed, oh yeah. Seventy two damage. That doesn't- that doesn't block us. Or that doesn't block the axe from hitting us. It only touches enemies themselves, so we need to be really careful there. I'm already missing half of my health. Over half of my health, actually. Can't open this door, from this side at least. Okay. 
Okay, so back down it is. Is there any way to avoid these enemies? Yes. Since we're not... well... Hmm. See, normally ZR would use that. Uh, usually ZR, if you just press ZR, it'll use whatever you have equipped here and throw it straight out. But with this, you specifically have to be using the right stick. So I'm wondering if I should put arrows back on for now, since I'm doing pretty okay on mana. What is that sound? Ultimate healing item recipe. <gasps> it's one of those possessed swords. Whoops, summoned it twice shadow. by accident. Ah! Still as dramatic as ever. That is what was making that pitter-patter sound. It's a chariot. With those wheel enemies serving as the wheels. Okay. So we can drop down there. Ingredients chest. He's on a chest. Okay, save room, nice. What's in here? My theories were correct. The crystal is spreading through the children's bodies even faster than I expected. However, my superiors have delivered the grave news that no more children can be provided. This is a setback. With my current materials, it could take more than 10 years to amass the crystal we require. My old friend has taken to spending time with the children. I cannot fathom why. He knows the future that awaits them once they have grown enough crystal. But it is his heart to break. He mentioned a new line of study, the manipulation of kinetic energy. To try and slow the crystal's progress, he cannot be so foolish. Hmm, that's a weird angle to fight this guy. Nice. Jumped way too early there. Arise, myself and my shadow. Uh, we are we are in a bad spot here. There we go. Sponge cake. Okay, so far this place is being pretty linear. So I think that door must take us back to... Forgot what this place was called, but the place with all the bells and the chests. Well, that must take us up and make the shortcut, maybe? Yeah, it does.
goes pretty far. More sponge cake. Is sponge cake the same thing as pound cake? Or is sponge cake just regular cake? Hold on, we might want to make that shortcut first before going down in here. There we go. So we could we can continue upwards. Let's go back down to the right first. Just a chest room. Fine equipment recipe. I got hit while I was reading that. Okay, no reason to come back in here. We can't ascend here any higher, even with this ability, so we must drop down. No, hmm. There is a, definitely a ceiling here, so we can't drop down. More sponge cake. Hmm. So right now, we can go back down and go across into this place, or we can keep going up. Let's keep going up so we can stay in the same area. And that is a boss door, it looks like. But I don't know if that's another one that requires one of those keys. And plus I'd rather save before doing the boss. So let's see if we can find another nearby save point. Aside from that one right there. Normally though, there's a save point right by the boss. Even this is kind of far for what the game has been giving us. A terrible thing has happened. One of the children got a hold of the red shard, bringing the demon I summoned all those years ago, back into our world. We somehow cut the shard loose from the boy and averted chaos, but this proves I was right. The crystal binds with the shard's power. I shall call the children shard binders. Double quotation marks. Why does that have double quotation marks? The shard binding incident made apparent our need to teach the children self-discipline. The guild has introduced such a regimen to verse them in combat by pitting them against the demons we summon. One boy, Jeebel, has shown tremendous ability, but his crystal growth lags behind the others. Why? Getting some Jeebel backstory. Okay, here's the save point. I'd like to take a peek up here first, but let's go ahead and check the door just in case it's also one of the boss doors that requires a key. A millionaire's key. Okay. Left, right, or up? Mm, let's go up to stay in the same room. Oof. Okay. I can sit on this. And admire the painting. 
This is quite the throne, and it's angled at the picture, so we don't even see the front of it. That's a very bizarre perspective. Ooh, another hairstyle. Yes, please. Speaking of hairstyles, we should probably go back soon and cash in our slaying quest bounties, because one of them awards a hairstyle, which we could do right now. I don't remember which slaying quest gives the hair, but I did a bunch of them, so let's see. Even if we didn't get that one yet, it's still worth cashing them in, because... Uh, we might as well get our reward now, no reason in delaying it. Especially if it's something we could be using now. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Yep, hair. Cut purse's ring. Oh, and we have more we can uh, get to. So I guess since we completed three, we got three more. So I guess at any given time, there's a, there's a certain amount of slaying quests you can uh, accept at any given time. Good work. Here's your reward. Got any targets? Here's what. Good. So let's see what that ring does. Have you? Here's. Good. Now we have the Traverser's Ring, which scales with the amount of map we've discovered, which I do like. Fence luck. A ring that makes enemies more likely to drop gold. Oh, so that's a ring you'd want to equip if you're farming things. Not good for general combat, though. And now, since we have at least two new hairstyles, let's go check them out. And... Where was the barber? Where, where is the barber? Uh, I think it's th this place. Yeah, pretty sure it's here. Cross this room. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Mastered a new hairstyle. Did I give them both at once, or...? Let's see if it says it again. No, it gave them both at the same time. Hair catalog. Oh, we can't see anything with this wolf head. Increased intelligence, increased mind. A little bit less strength and defense. Yeah, let's go with that. It looks stylish and shows off the hair better. And it's not objectively worse because we are always hitting things with our magic. So. Okay, now let's actually look at the new ones. That's the default. I've seen that one already. I think that's a new one. Eh, it's not bad. Again, I don't know if it fits the character, though. I should have one more. This one. This one looks pretty similar to some of the other ones we have. I still like the one I had the most, though, so let's stick with that. But even now, there are still several that we can get. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Hair colors and costume colors 
and everything else stays the same, I think. I don't think you unlock any more from these. All these are unlocked from the start. So let's go back to the teleport point that we used to go to the hub. And continue on from there. We were in the Hall of Termination. And since we're right by a save point, yet again, let's hit that. The Hall of Termination, the name suggests that it ends in a dead end. Unless they just named it that to sound eerie. I tried going in there yet? I don't remember. I know I can go through there. Ammo capacity. I keep forgetting I have guns, especially during the boss fights. This sword kind of makes guns trivial, though. Also, I hear a draft in here. Maybe it's just because of how big this room is. Ooh. And a magic... A uh, magic tonic. Tonic. Vile. What's the point of this ledge here? Oh, there's a ledge up there. No way can I do that yet, though. I don't think I have any weapons that let me prolong myself in the air. New gun, apparently. That's a long-range one, so that might be... Useful even with my ranged sword. Oh, I remember the boots. I remember there was a weapon that lets you stay in the air a bit longer. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Wish I could hover with the umbrella, like in Super Mario Bros. 2. Okay, so let's just put a marker on this for now. Oh, but there's already a chest marked on it. Which is enticing enough. Boss door. Okay. Let's hope this guy's more impressive than that dragon. Jeeble, so dun dun dun. The power of so many shards. I presume you're ready to join me. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you, and nothing else. Whoa, lip sync. What promise? You really have forgotten then. I swore to you. That I would stop you if your shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. Ooh. You the same oath to me. He forgot I said that to him. What a villain. He doesn't remember the things I say. Oof, that's so evil. Please. You think I wield this power unwillingly? I do. I've known it since our meeting on the galleon. There was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jeebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've had enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. Next Are we fighting Jeebel here? Well, that's definitely more impressive than the dragon. Careful what you wish for. Okay. Okay, so the fire lingers. Oh, 
tried to jump over him there. He stopped me. Okay. I think that was an AoE. Hey, first try. Forgive me, J -Pop. Well, we beat the final boss. We beat the game. Thanks for watching, everyone. You, you, you did the right thing, Miriam. Thank you. Psych. You didn't say psych. Is it over? We did what we came here to do. We stopped Jebel. But the castle is still there. The demons. Yes, but Dominique and the church can take it from here. You think so? I have a bad feeling about all of this. What would you have us do? It's out of our hands now. Perhaps, but... Okay, so as the title screen, or not the title screen, but as the screen suggests, it says game over, which means the game is over because we beat the game, obviously. So what I'm actually assuming is that he really is the final boss in that room. That really is the final boss. But there's some sort of condition we have to meet before we fight him to get a more ideal ending. Extra mode? Oh, boss rush. I'm assuming I can only do boss rush up to the up to the boss that I fought last. I don't think it'll let me do bosses that I haven't found in the main campaign yet. Game start out. We did save right before going up there, right? Please tell me so. Okay. Yeah, it was just a little bit. I'm not going to fight him again. I'm only entering this room so I can mark that chest on my map again. Also, I wonder if that draft is... Since we saw the room past this, I wonder if this draft is because... There's actually a big window in that room, since we saw the moon through it. Why is it not marking the chest on my map now? It's not marking the chest this time. Maybe I have to get closer to it with the beam, like I did last time. Why is it not marking it? Okay, there, now it did. So now I won't forget about that. And there's there are still several places we can go right now. Oh yeah, that place needed a... That door needs a key, the millionaire's key, to be precise. So let's go back down here and go across into this area. Okay. Let's not aggro that thing. Dong. Dong. So yes, we are back at the bell area. Ooh. What the? Okay, so this opens from the other side. This really makes it look like there is a wall jump in this game. This really makes it look like there's going to be a wall jump. I don't know how else I'd get up there. Unless we can literally fly later or get 
an infinite double jump. Or, it's a bit redundant saying infinite double jump, because infinite double jump is the same thing as infinite jump. Two times infinity is the same thing as one times infinity, in other words. That's where we came from. We really can't do anything in here until we open it from the other side, which... I don't think we can do yet. I remember there was some sort of blockage here. Which is why we couldn't go and get that chest. And we couldn't go up any higher here. And I don't think we've gotten any ability since then that would let us go higher. Where else can we go right now? I think we could probably go back in the Livra Ex Machina because there were some... I remember going in this place and dying, which is why I marked it a bunch. Telling me to go back there. So we could try that. Uh... I also remember that in this place, there was a spot up here with a bunch of spikes where you needed both the double jump and the laser. And at the first time, the first time I went there, I only had the double jump. So I could go there as well. I have a feeling this place might be a little bonus spot. So let's check out that first and then go back to the spot with all the markers I put down. So let's teleport here, which is back by the barber. I think sliding is faster still. I don't know if it's a placebo or not. I haven't checked. Definitely feels a bit faster, though. Overall. Oof. Where are we going again? Up until we hit a ceiling and then left. I wonder where we get these keys, though. I wonder if those are optional bosses, maybe. And you have to find... Well, obviously, you have to find the key to fight them. But the fact that you have to find a key to fight the boss there... And the fact that it doesn't really seem to be blocking anything important... Makes it seem like they're optional bosses. Especially since they're right by the final boss. Makes me think that, you know... Uh, once you do whatever sort of condition that needs to be met to fight the final boss, if you have the keys, it lets you take care of the of the optional bosses right before you fight the final boss. Back in here. Let's check out... Okay, so keep going left. But don't fall all the way down this time. I definitely have a large portion of the map discovered at this point in the game. And the fact that I found Jeebel and got the bad ending, so to speak, makes me think I'm definitely a significant portion of the way into the game. Probably have more than half of the map discovered already. I would say maybe two-thirds? How far down? I kind of judge how big the map is by seeing how far I can scroll. I can't scroll down much further, so maybe there's a place down at the bottom once I can go through here. Oh, but how high up can I scroll? Not very high at all. So probably not anything higher than where Jeebel is. It would make sense for him to be at the top of the castle, right? But there's still a very big amount of space over here, but that doesn't mean it has to be used. Anyway, let's keep going. Pretty sure I've used the laser in here already. Yeah, I did. Whoops. thing again. Hmm. 
Some enemies look so scary, but they're so weak. And then other enemies that are actually strong don't really look that intimidating. Okay, this should be the room. I think it was this room. Yeah, it was. Forgot about that. Okay, so you, oh yeah, you need double jump, the hand, and the laser. <laughs> I think this is what you're supposed to do? It doesn't really take me that far, so maybe this really isn't the ability. I think you do have to damage- let's try damage boosting our way through. Ooh, I'm so sure about that anymore. It'll probably kill us anyway, so let's go ahead and attempt the damage boosting again. So I'm just going to chug some potions. Is there anything that makes us invincible temporarily? A failed omelet. Oof, ouch. Throwing shade at scrambled eggs. G-bone steak. Mm, okay, let's try to damage boost one more time. Is there any sort of spell that would let us... Move horizontally. Not the familiars. Not the augments. Hmm. Anything that lets us slide on spikes. Let's try the damage damage boosting again. The thing is it, it throws us so far back. Okay, we either need a lot of HP to damage boost through that, or more likely, we need a different ability. Instead, let's check out the place I marked a bunch. How do we get there? You can teleport right to it, actually. Ow! Hi, you. Ah! Apparently, I still haven't gone across here, but I remember in this area, I've actually been in a lot of places here, but then died. So a lot of the area here says I haven't been there when I actually have. Upbeat heat. Send rhythmic blasts of flame towards foes. We actually get it. The rhythmic beat. Is it in Conjure? Dang it, we have to swap out Welcome Company. Behold, my oh, wow. It places her. Yes. Yes. I can only have one out at a time. Behold, my 
crouching makes her lower, so we can change the angle. And ranking it up increases the duration. That seems pretty useful in taking out enemies that are in a very awkward position from you. Just because of how uh, unique the angle is. It's not something we would want to have out at all times, though. Very niche, but very useful when it is in those niche situations. Right up. The arrow is still out. It got body blocked by the knight there. I don't know how long it would have lingered otherwise. Also, we have 660 HP. Which means that... Right up. The next time we... Uh, just do this. Can I hop across? I don't know if that would work. Well, I remember why I died here last time. I was going to say that the next time I get a health thing, I'll probably go over 666 HP. Which means... It's probably not possible to get 666 HP in this. But I don't know, maybe with... I guess you could modulate your HP a bit more with certain items and gear. So I have been here before. Probably not. So this is actually a dead end, but... We can get a health upgrade. Oh yeah, I was just talking about one. I think we have to beam ourselves in. So... Didn't have much time to get the angle. It's very sensitive with the right stick, too. So let's try that again, of course. We're right by a teleport point. We're right by a warp point where we're respawning, so we can attempt that again pretty fast. But uh, we don't have the guitar this time. I guess if we ever really needed it, I can just farm that enemy off camera. So I can reclaim what was once mine. Kind of like how I did for the fairy that one time. But since we've been in that room twice and died both times, let's prioritize finishing off that room for good. Well, 50-50. Oh, I'm inside. Okay. Thought she was actually going to hit me there. During that death animation. Where she breaks the guitar. Okay. Let's just use this to get around in here. <sighs> Arise, myself and my shadow. Oh, the possessed chair? Call forth a chair and set it down. Okay, we have to try that out, but in a more controlled environment, so not quite yet. We could do it here. Rank. More chair types. I guess that would be useful in case we ever have really sore feet. You can have more than one out at once, though. There has to be some obscure... There has to be at least one super obscure use for this in the game. I feel like it wouldn't be here otherwise. What if having this is the condition to get the good ending? <laughs> hey, Jeeble, we have summon chair. Watch out. 
since he's sitting on his throne, we just have to upgrade summon chair to the max and get a really regal looking throne and we set it down and sit in front of him. Then he'll see that we're actually more fit to rule than he, than he is because the throne is so becoming on us. So we have more HP this time. so noisy in this room. The guitar, the fire, the spinning buzz saws, the blades. Okay, that was... It's kind of overthinking that part. There. Yes, you said it, Miriam. There. Now, how to get out? Don't move the right stick. Okay, so we can take off... Wait a minute. I was going to say we can take off these markers. Is that a doorway, though, at the bottom left? My marker was... No, that's definitely not a doorway. The marker was covering it up. It was making it look like there could have been a doorway there. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. So, there is absolutely no reason to return to this place. Good riddance. Um, hey, it was actually working for a while. The chair was hopping us across. Hey, maybe the chair actually helps us. Unintentionally. If we sit down on it, it hops us across the blades. I don't think there's anything else we want to be doing here in the Livera Ex Machina. I guess we could check out some of these places I've been to before, like this. But I know that most of the spots that look like this are untraversed because I don't have the means to do that yet. So I actually don't know where else I can go yet. But let's go back and save first. Before I do any more thinking about where to go next. No. Also, in addition to this room, uh, in addition to this room not being marked on the map bothering me, I should also, you know, aside from me marking it on the map so it doesn't bother me anymore, it also increases my traverser's ring, it scales it, so we got that again. Actually, there's a save point right here. It doesn't really matter where we save since I don't know where I'm going next. Plus, we're right by Odie. So this place feels pretty uh, comfortable. Knowing that we have his company nearby. Almost like a second hub. Okay, so. That's a good amount of time for yet another episode of Bloodstained R-O-T-N. That's the acronym for Ritual of the Night. And... I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like the video. Hmm.